Well, it's the last day of my Christmas reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego train. But before I get into the review, I want to know how you guys thought about me doing all these reviews. Did you like me doing them all in a short period? Do you think I was rushing things? Do you want me to do more stuff like this when a lot of stuff comes in at once? I mean, I, I don't exactly know, so... If you want, if you have any sort of comments or questions about what I'm doing, about the rapid reviews, as I like to call them, comment below and uh, I will see what I can do about that. But anyway, most years they have a Lego diesel engine. I have gotten them every year, but this year it's a steam engine. So as you can see, we have an engine, a tender, a flat car, and a caboose. <laughs>
And if you can't tell, it just happened, so I basically just built it all. Uh, included in bag number one, you get the station, I guess, some people, and some presents. In bag two, you get to build the engine and the tender. There is no pistons, and uh, you get the fireman, that guy there. And in bag number three, you build the tree car and the caboose. The tree car is supposed to, the tree is supposed to like turn when you roll it around, but uh, mine doesn't do that, so if yours does and mine doesn't, well, then you're doing something that I've done wrong. But uh, anyway, and, and the caboose, um, there's a table in there, you can see a coffee cup and a lamp. Um, the top thing doesn't operate, but it does still look pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I think this set is pretty nice. It'll make a great addition. So, uh, I'll show you it running around for a second. This isn't battery-powered. I do have some that are battery-powered, but this is just, uh, hand-powered. So, this is gonna be really fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this interesting sort of review. That's all for now. I'm Samuel, and I'll see you next time.